Does TRT actually lead to muscle loss? This is Coach JMO here, and we're gonna be going into the details of what's happening in your body when you start taking TRT. Now, I know TRT is a common topic, not only on this channel, but in a lot of young men's minds and conversations in doctor's offices. Testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy. TRT. TRT. Hormone replacement therapy. It's something that more and more people have been inquiring about. It's something that has been very curious for a lot of younger men and older men as well. But we know that TRT has the ability to greatly increase total and free testosterone levels without barely having to lift a finger. Just a few shots in the butt and you're off to the races. And of course, if you've seen some other videos, you know that I haven't been the biggest fan or advocate of TRT. And this is due to a lot of its side effects and the way that it interferes with the body's natural hormone production. But I do believe that it does have value and it is very important for a very select few men and women. And those cases are much more rare, where about 0.1% of the population is actually dealing with them. But then why does it seem like almost everyone is talking about TRT if it only should be used for a small, small fraction of the people who are talking about it? Well, guys have a preconceived notion of what TRT could actually do for them. They think it could help them get through plateaus at the gym. It can help them put on more muscle, increase their libido, and just feel more like a man. And they feel like they have a problem. They feel like their body isn't producing enough testosterone on its own. And in order to fix that, they need to inject bioidentical hormones into their body. Now on paper, it makes sense, right? It seems safe. It's bioidentical. So it's going to be the same thing your body is getting, but just synthetically derived. But in this video, we're going to be asking the big question, does TRT cause muscle loss? A lot of guys think it increases their muscle mass, but the answer is going to be very shocking. Here's the deal. I personally have never considered hopping on this TRT because by the time I've heard of it, I already knew the potential side effects that could come along with it. And I'm a young guy, I'm in my thirties. So for me, it didn't seem like something that was completely necessary. However, there have been times when I was dealing with a lot of other issues in my life, my confidence, my drive, my energy, all these other aspects that I thought maybe I need something. Maybe something's wrong with me and I need to fix it by taking some kind of pharmaceutical or taking something to help me finally get over these issues. And the only thing that stopped me, thank God, was just my fear of something going wrong. I probably would have done a lot of things when I was younger because I wasn't really sure what was going on. All I wanted was an outcome. I didn't know the process that it took to get to that outcome. In this situation that was not fun to be in, made me unhappy, made me unfulfilled. And I thought, okay, maybe I just take this and then I'll get to the point I want to be in life. And I totally understand that feeling. If you're going through that right now, I have been there. And sometimes that feeling still comes up as a man for so many people who seem to have it all together. But I'm here to tell you that TRT is most likely not going to be the answer for you. So how is that weekly or bi-weekly needle in the butt actually hurting your muscle growth? Well, let's start off with this. Most men do notice an increase in muscle mass when they start taking TRT and men on other hormone replacement therapies. For example, men who take certain hormone replacement therapies for their prostate due to their level of prostate specific androgens or other reasons could actually have the opposite effect. It could affect their testosterone level negatively. And this has been shown in a Harvard study to do just that. But what about the TRT guys? You see these guys who are walking around, they're kind of half natty, right? They're not on a full blown steroid cycle, but they're far from natural because they've shut down their body's natural hormone production. I like to call it the baby roids. But in all serious, there is a use case for TRT. However, 99% of the guys who are on TRT aren't using it for that reason. And all they're ending up with is just some shrunken balls. But I get it. It's hard to put in that effort. It's hard to put in the work to reach an outcome. You want the simple fix. I've been there so many times. I've just wanted the simple fix. If I had a low libido, if I had a low energy, if I just didn't feel satisfied in my relationship life or with myself as a man, I just wanted something that could fix that right in the moment. And unfortunately, in my experience, there's no one thing that just fixes it within a day, week, month. It takes time. It takes years of consistent effort. But let me tell you, the light at the end of the road is very bright. When you go through these processes and better yourself as a man, that is where the true feeling of fulfillment, energy, drive, gratification, and relationship satisfaction comes in. Now, back to TRT and muscle loss. So clearly this is something guys are concerned about. 
if you look at Reddit, there are already conversations and questions asking the same thing. Will I lose my gains if I take TRT and stop TRT? What happens if I don't take TRT or if I take a lower dose of TRT? What's going to happen to those muscle gains? What's going to happen to my energy levels, my libido, my erection quality? These are all very valid questions. And clearly so, because there are many men online asking these questions. And your doctor might not be able to answer these questions for you because a lot of it is up to your own body, up to your dosage, up to how long you've taken TRT. TRT, what your hormone levels were at before you started TRT, and then what you're trying to get them to while taking TRT. So of course, the doctors aren't going to have an answer because they don't know the answer. And there are a few studies that point towards a direction that can help us understand more of what might potentially happen if you decide to go down this path. And after all this conversation, it seems like TRT is a little scary. Like what would happen if you decide to stop or if you run out of supply and you have to stop against your own will. Are you gonna be on TRT for life? Are you gonna to have to inject yourself every week or two weeks for the rest of your life? Well, there is a little bit of silver lining. If you are someone who is on TRT, there was a study done where 151 patients were taking TRT and then got off of TRT. And then we looked into what was going to happen after they started to get off TRT. And over 60% of them found that they lost muscle mass, they lost drive, they lost figure. But about 30% of them found that they didn't lose as much as they were expecting. Some of them even stayed the same. Some of them didn't have to lose muscle mass. And a big factor for this was actually aerobic exercise. This is very interesting. It goes to show even when you're hopping on something exogenously, it is not going to be the magic pill. You need to put in the work. You need to focus in on your diet, your mindset, and of course, your exercise and lifestyle and wellness habits. This is what actually makes the most difference in your overall health and well-being, even when pharmaceuticals are involved. And this study found that people who decided to continue exercising after hopping on this synthetically derived hormone replacement saw a 10 times better. And the probability of a maintained efficacy after taking TRT was about 10 times more than guys who didn't exercise regularly. So does TRT cause muscle loss? Well, not exactly. It could help you gain muscle, but think about this. Do you wanna stay on TRT for life? That is the big question here. Because the longer you take it, the less likely you're gonna be able to get back to a good, natural, neutral place that you can finally feel confident without any exogenous pharmaceuticals. And it may be worth it to just hop off TRT now, do it, with your clinician and do it the right way. Continue to exercise, continue to do things in your daily life that help boost testosterone naturally, like taking natural herbs, optimizing your sleep cycle and diet, and all the lifestyle changes that we talk about on this channel to help improve your T levels naturally. And a lot of these are actually free and don't take a lot of time every day, but the only magic thing here is consistency. So potentially talk to your doctor about getting off of TRT if you are on it. And if you're thinking of starting, consider that. Consider, can I do what I wanna be doing now? now naturally? Do I have to take TRT? Am I one of that 0.1% of people that require taking TRT because of something that I have an issue with that's out of my control? However, there is a study done on older men that showed that after six months, they did lose all of the muscle gains that they did receive while on TRT. So it's probably a good idea to get off of this while you can, especially if you're younger. And if you're an older guy, it's still important to be able to take your health into your own hands. But think about this. Think about your whole life ahead of you. Think about the time you'd have to spend consistently taking this pharmaceutical, making sure it stays in stock, making sure you have it available at you, making sure you bring with you when you're on vacation, making sure that it doesn't go bad, making sure that the batch you get is not tainted or is not going to not be as strong enough as what you need it for. Now, some of these problems are on the more rare side, but when you're doing things naturally, you don't have to worry about any of that. There is no stress. There is no rebound effect. There is no fear of if I stop this or miss this, am I going to lose out on the benefits? Is this going to hurt me in the long run? It's best to just get it off now. But that is my personal opinion after looking at the research and experiencing that feeling of dread and just thinking that there's nothing I can do, that I just need to find an answer. That's how I personally feel. And that's how I know thousands of guys in the Afro D nation also feel because we speak about it every day there. So if you want to learn how to optimize your testosterone levels naturally, starting with your mindset, starting with the way you approach things in life and being able to find that winner effect, that consistency, then download the ebook in the description. And if you've decided to start TRT and it's working great for you, let us know in the comments. If you've decided to start TRT and you stopped, let us know how you feel. Start the conversation. I'm happy to know everyone's experiences and I want to continue talking about this very important topic for men and women all over the world. And as always, like and subscribe for your health.